Hello friends, this video on inverse trigonometric functions part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 16. Let's solve one more question. So to solve this and find the value of the x, so this you can see the formula, this is nothing but sine of k plus k. Sine of, this guy is a, this guy is b. And for this we know the formula sine of a plus b is nothing but sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. So let's break this first. Let's break this and we'll try to convert everything into either sine form or cos form and get the value of this. So this becomes sine of a that is sine inverse 1 by pi into cos of b that is cos of cos inverse x plus cos of a that is cos of sine inverse 1 by pi plus sine of b that is sine of cos inverse x. This is my LHS. Sine of sine inverse 1 by 5 is 1 by 5. Cos of cons inverse x is x plus now this is the real challenge, cos of sine inverse 1 by 5 plus sine of cos inverse x. So now if you see this, I have to convert this sine inverse 5 into cos inverse form. If that is the case, I can write the value. Similarly here, cos inverse x I have to convert into sine inverse form. Correct. Now what should we do? So if you see this, if sine inverse 1 by 5 is equal to theta, let's suppose. So I get sine theta is 1 by 5. So if sine theta is 1 by 5, cos theta is how much? The root of 1 minus pi square. And that is nothing but 2 root 6 by 5. So this is my cos theta. So I get theta is nothing but cos inverse 2 root 6 by 5. So it's, here I say sine inverse 1 by 5 is equal to theta and also I say theta is equal to cos inverse 2 root 6 by 5. That is I can say that sine inverse 1 by 5 is nothing but cos inverse 2 root 6 by 5. Correct. So I can write this as actually cos of cos inverse 2 root 6 by 5. Five. and this is x by 5 already there plus now sine of cos inverse x similar thing we'll do here similar thing exactly similar thing if I am saying that cos of x is equal to theta sorry cos of inverse x is equal to theta or cos theta is equal to x cos theta is x so sine theta is nothing but root 1 minus x square. So here also theta is nothing but sine inverse of root 1 minus x square. Why I am doing this? Because I want to convert this cos into sine. So this becomes sine of instead of cos inverse x I can say sine inverse root 1 minus x square. With this my life is simple. So this becomes x by pi plus 2 root 6 by 5. So this is into actually. This is into, into root 1 minus x square. And the whole thing is equal to 1. So I have this equation with one variable x by 5 plus 2 root uh, 6 into root 1 minus x square is equal to 1. If you solve this equation, you will get x is equal to 1 by 5. I won't solve this for you. You can solve this, you will get x is equal to 1 by 5, and that is my answer. Correct. So what I have done, I have just 
read it in this sin a plus b into this form sin a cos b plus cos a sin b and then sin uh, inverse from left five I wrote in the form of cos inverse because cos and cos inverse related in value. Similarly, cos inverse from x I wrote in the form of sin inverse because sin of sin inverse you get x value independent of sin and cos. I got this equation solved it, I get the value of x. Let's take one more example tan inverse x minus 1 by x minus 2 plus tan inverse x plus 1 by x plus 2 is equal to pi by 4 given. We have to find the value of x. So here if you see the direct application of the formula tan inverse a plus tan inverse b you see this guy is a tan inverse a plus tan inverse b and with that I will get everything in one tan form that will help me to uh, solve this question better. Just observe this question this is the form tan inverse a this is whole is a tan inverse b so I will use the formula tan inverse a plus tan inverse b is nothing but tan inverse a plus b by 1 minus a b. So this becomes actually my ellipsis becomes tan inverse a is this plus b is my this x plus 1 by x plus 2 the whole thing divides by 1 minus a b into x minus 1 by x minus 2 into x plus 1 by x plus 2 this is the thing this is my LHS We solve this further, this becomes tan inverse of 2x square minus 4 pi minus 3. And this becomes, this else is nothing but pi by 4. And pi by 4 I can write as nothing but tan inverse of 1. Why? Because I can just move tan inverse part and get an equation in the form of x. So I get this as 2x square minus 4 by minus 3 is equal to 1. So this is the equation I got. To solve this, you get x is equal to plus minus 1 by 3. And that's my answer. Very simple, I just saw tan inverse a plus tan inverse b form, applied the formula and got x is equal to plus minus 1 by 3. We'll take one more example. So there is a cache here. If you see it's sine inverse sine 2 by 3 pi. So we can directly say this is 2 by 3 pi, right? But that is not the case. Why? Because 2 by 3 pi is not part of the natural or the principal domain, the principal uh, value that is pi by minus pi by 3 to plus pi by 3. This is my principal interval. So this 2 by 3 pi is not part of this. So this is not equal to that. The value should be in this principal interval. So what we do? We'll write this as nothing but sine inverse sine two by three pi. I can write as nothing but pi minus two by three pi. The sine theta I can write as nothing but sine of pi minus theta. So this becomes sine inverse sine of pi by 3 and this becomes pi by 3 and pi by 3 is in the interval so we can say that sine verse 2 by 3 pi is nothing but pi by 3 it is not 2 pi by 3 please make a note this this has to be the principal interval correct why it is not 2 by 3 pi because 2 by 3 pi is not in this interval minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 but for sine function we know that sine 0 is uh, 0 correct so this is my principal interval minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 only thank you visit examfear.com to Watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.